WIBTA if I drop out of a friend's wedding after not being invited to the bachelorette. Original post, October 2, 2024. Hi, so I 25 FM currently being pushed back and forth with my choice and I thought the lovely people of Reddit might be able to rein me in. I am currently 13 weeks pregnant and my friends around me have all been very happy and excited for me. However my childhood friend 25F, let's call her Lisa, stonewalled me since I announced at 8 weeks, I had assumed it was wedding stress but now I'm seconding guessing that. In the weekend I was scrolling Instagram and I came across a post where she had thanked everyone for coming to her bachelorette, photos of it's the girls and her smiling in the middle and I sorta sat there shocked. At first I tried to be mature and just let it go, but this was a girl I grew up with, she was a bridesmaid in my wedding party and I'm honorary bridesmaid for hers, she's not having a wedding party in the end I guess hormones took over and I ended up reaching out to her, at first I went oh looks like fun, and she replied that it was and after a tub of ice cream and a good sob I reached out and went hey, uh sorry to be this person but why wasn't I invited? She immediately messaged me back with a response. TBH the whole day was centered around drinking, wineries and heading to town after, and I'm not sure you would have enjoyed being around all of us drunk AF especially cause you're pregnant right now. I get that an invite would have been nice regardless, but in all honestly I just wanted to keep it very small. I'm really sorry you feel that way, but I don't want to make this a big thing BC I've already had a shit week. I tried to respond with hey, thanks for getting back to me but I'm still upset cause the day is about you and I wanted to be there to celebrate you and then she she rung me and just asked me to not make this a big thing once again and she sounded incredibly annoyed and like the doormat I am I dropped it. After thinking this over for the past few days I'm feeling very hurt and heartbroken. This was a girl I grew up with and loved and supported through a lot of shit. I've helped her plan and prepare a lot of her wedding so to suddenly get iced out like this I'm feeling a certain way. My husband suggests we don't go and I'm on the edge. So Reddit Wibta if I decline going to her wedding and distancing myself? Ada has no consensus bot. Oop was NTA with a few UDAs and ESH. Relevant comments. Commenter 1. I suppose whether you go or not depends on whether you enjoy weddings and whether you think you will enjoy being in the company of all those friends who went on the bachelorette party and never uttered a word about it to you. Oop. The issue is I'm considered one of her old friends. We grew up in a small town and moved to same city. We both took different paths in life, both in jobs and social circles but I had always been invited to birthdays and events. And while I might not be friends with her be group of friends they definitely know of me. But you make a good point, and something to consider. Commenter 2, NTA. Her saying don't make this a big thing would piss me off. If you guys are close then she 100% should have at least invited you. The whole it's my wedding and I can invite and do what I want is true. However that doesn't mean you have no consequences for your decision. To me she doesn't consider you as good of a friend as you may think. Commenter 3, I'm honorary bridesmaid for hers. She's not having a wedding party what the heck is this? Is it a new fad I haven't heard of or a way to get more partying and gifts from your friends without having them in the wedding? In any case Wumta for ghosting her wedding. She deliberately did something that she knew would hurt your feelings and told you not to make a big thing out of it. Update hash 1st of October 2nd 2024, same day, 17 hours later hi, hope this is allowed but you were also wonderful and helpful and turns out I got an update sooner than I expected. So I haven't heard from Lisa, that I expected. What I didn't expect is a friend of Lisa to get in touch with me, let's call her Sarah. I knew of Sarah and spoke to her a few times at events we attended together and she was one of the girls with myself went wedding dress shopping for Lisa. She was also a friend I noticed wasn't at the bachelorette which was a surprise anyway and at first she was doing a hey how are you and we did polite small talk blah blah until she finally went so are you as pissed off and mad as I am at Lisa op. Immediately I was slightly shocked as the few times I had met Sarah she was very I guess demure. That opened the floodgates of information and she told me everything she knows. So what I didn't put in the post is I actually waited two days before messaging Lisa about about the lack of invite. Turns out three of Lisa's friends who also weren't invited hit her up immediately after she posted on Instagram asking why they weren't invited. Turns out these girls absolutely chewed Lisa alive and my confrontational was soft and finally it was revealed what actually happened and now I'm even more confused. So Lisa admitted to Sarah that her sister-in-law planned the bachelorette and just decided she was only going to invite the friends she knew. So Lisa's usual group of 8-10 friends including me got narrowed down into 4 and Lisa decided not to correct her sister-in-law and just went with it. Not realizing how many people she would be upsetting with not inviting people. Apparently once people started attacking her she basically Lisa buried her head in sand and started making up lies to everyone on why they weren't invited and using the same excuse of don't make this a big deal until everyone realized the reasons were bullshit and called her out for it and the real truth came out. Sarah has informed me the girls who weren't invited have all pulled out of the wedding. Their partners included because they got the same annoyed response from Lisa before she told the truth and they all thought they didn't deserve that. Then she finally asked me what Lisa told me and I went deathly quiet on the phone before finally admitting she used my pregnancy as an excuse which then started poor Sarah on another rant of anger on how Lisa could say that to me. When I'm pregnant. Anyway we ended the call and she hoped we could get coffee sometime so I think I've made a friend. So, 
That's the update. This pregnant lady is very confused. And I'm currently the number one buyer of ice cream at my local dairy lol relevant comments. Commenter 1. NTA she made it very clear that you and the group are not her friendship priority anymore. Perhaps her new sill and her gang will be there to replace you guys. At least that is what she is making it seem. Are her in-laws paying for the majority of the wedding? Is she one of those pleasers that play along with the most annoying person so she can feel part of the group? You know she is in deep trouble, right? Her sill must be some sort of single be each that likes to impose over others' desire. But the way, congrats on the baby. 13 weeks so-so? Oop, exactly 13 weeks and 5 days. And frankly I don't know what to make of the in-laws. I know for a fact she's, Lisa, paying for most of the wedding. I will be honest I don't particularly like her fiancé although I've never outright told her just relayed my concerns. One of the reasons they actually have no bridal party was because the groom demanded five. He had five guy friends he was close to and while Lisa has multiple friends they all work in fields where not everyone has time to take out for events. Therefore a lot of them turned her down. I think I was one of three who said yes. In the end I know it turned into a massive argument between the two. And the groom finally stomped his feet and said no wedding party then. And so Lisa went around giving out the honorary title and asked certain people to wear a certain color. It's all rather sad actually. And then the groom asked her to make his sil mo cause she means a lot to him. A lot of, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post. But she's also the kind of person where it for a second you negatively comment on her relationship she cuts you off so I've always just been supportive in the background. Lisa should not have lied to Oop and other friends for not inviting them to the bachelorette party. Oop, I think that's why I'm now confused and I've gone from yeah I'm not going, to oh shit. Because I can see both sides, Lisa was an idiot for not reaching out to everyone before posting on Instagram about the situation, and is probably stressed out of her mind right now. It's kinda why I'm glad once I got the annoyed phone call from her I just dropped it and went inwards where it sounds like the other girls went nah fuck that. So I'm very much on the fence right now and am sorta waiting to see if I hear from Lisa. If I'll ever get the truth like what Sarah did or if she's willing to let me believe I didn't get invited cause the lemon-sized fetus in my womb is a buzz killer. Update number 2. October 8th, 2024. Guys, I went off this train. So minor and small update. So as mentioned in my previous post Lisa and I are childhood friends, and our mothers are friends. I finally shared what had happened with my mom and first mom was so upset for me but also gave me and I told you so op you are too much of a doormat. Thanks mom. But she then said I have a big heart and sometimes people tend to use and abuse it. Once again, thanks mom. Anyway, mom then gave more tea, more gossip so apparently while Lisa has been telling people that she's paying for her wedding out of her own pocket, turns out a big fat lie. Lisa's mother had been sending her money and from what my mother told me it was a decent chunk of change. How do we know this? Well Lisa's mom went to my mom upset because one thing I forgot to notice is Lisa's mom wasn't wasn't invited to the bachelorette party. Context for people outside NZ. We don't have bridal parties so usually what people do is the older generation gets invited to like dinner and then the younger girls go out and party if you have a piss up. If you don't have a piss up and just do a more chilled bachelorette then mum will be there the whole time. Like mine so Lisa mother was distraught because she had been sending Lisa a decent amount of cash. Had been told she wasn't allowed to give her opinion about anything to do with the wedding and then wasn't invited to her bachelorette. And Lisa's mother is honestly a nice lady so to hear that it kinda broke my heart and if I had known Lisa's mother was sending money I would have told Lisa to pull her head in. My mum then had to break the news about why I wasn't invited to the bachelorette and Lisa's poor mother was mortified. So that's the update. Is it even an update? I don't know. I'm just very sad at this point cause I don't know where my friend has gone, if she's there anymore, is this a bridezilla moment? I don't know. My ice cream journey though, I read everyone people have been loving this pregnancy ladies carving so allow me to indulge. Recently I tried the Ben and Jerry's Banoffee flavor and it was very good. I wish the caramel swirl was mixed throughout all the ice cream but beggars can't be choosers. And I had the most amazing strawberry sorbet the other day. Honestly so good I almost asked the ice cream shop for a tub of it but I had self-control. Additional information from Oop. Oop, I would like to acknowledge quickly in the comments that just because my friend's mum was sending her money doesn't make her mum entitled to change things about the wedding. But looking back on conversations I have had with Lisa I know for a fact her poor mum got absolutely stonewalled when it came to offering suggestion. Relevant comments. Commenter 1, you know, I'm not sure I believe this story about how Lisa's sill set the guest list. I think that might be a lie Lisa was telling to Sarah to try to excuse her action. If that's the case, Lisa totally threw her sill under the bus. Which, does sill know that she's being partly blamed for this? Kinda wonder if Lisa's mother would appreciate knowing that maybe she wasn't included because Lisa's sill made all the decision. Oop, I'm starting to realize that is most definitely the case. Sill has been thrown under the bus cause Lisa is realizing that people don't take too kindly to being disrespected. As for Lisa's mum knowing about Lisa's excuse I don't know. I'll talk to my mum and see what she thinks. For now I don't want to overload the poor woman cause it's a lot. Oop explains what a piss up is. Oop, it's Kiwi slang for like a party where you would drink a lot of booze. Editor's note, Oop is located in New Zealand.